VIPs, it's Lex Joy from Lex Joy VIP Access, and today I'm with the multi talented uh, Nate Maloli. <laughs> And we're here today at Reality Dance's awesome event. So Nate, I just want to congratulate you on all the phenomenal success with your career. Congrats you. on everything. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, what inspired you to focus your life around music and becoming a hip-hop artist? Um, yeah, uh, first I just want to apologize. I'm like really stuffy, no, so like, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit sick. But um, yeah, uh, to answer that question, I've been doing music since I was a freshman in high school. So. I've really like been into just uh, you know being a hip hop artist, and a lot of hip hop artists have inspired me to do that. And I also went to a Wiz Khalifa concert when I was a sophomore in high school, and that's really what like I was like, dang, I want to be like I want to be like him. I want to do what he does, and yeah, that's basically that. So. Excellent. Well, I hope you had fun at the concert. Uh, I'm like really wanting to go to a Wiz Khalifa concert. Now, if you could collaborate with any other hip hop artist or artist in general, who would it be? It's a very tough question. Man, it's so hard. Um, man, that's like the hardest question because there's so many good ones that I enjoy. Because I love all different types of genres and music. I'm like really into like different music. Like, I like Bob Marley. I like Wiz. I like. Uh, I like I like singers too. Like I like Bruno. He's like really talented. Bruno Mars. Um, but I guess if I had to pick one, I, I can't pick one. I can't pick one. I like Logic. I like Mac Miller. I like I like a lot of artists. I'm trying to figure out who else. Chance the Rapper. Have you ever heard of Chance the Rapper? He's got a real different flow. I like his too. But yeah, to be honest, I can't answer that question. I'm sorry. Well, I am so excited for all your projects because I know that one day soon I'll be seeing you like up on stage with like Mac Miller or Chance the Rapper. So I can't wait to see that. Now you're currently on tour. What are some of your tour must-haves? Uh, my tour must-haves. I must have lots of shoes. Like I have to have a lot of shoes. <laughs> I have to have a lot of clothes. Got to make sure I have like toothpaste and toothbrush because I always brush my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> what else do I need to have? Yeah, basically I just need to have my swag on, on full effect. Yeah. That's about it. Well, you always bring your swag on full effect, <laughs> so it comes naturally for you. Now, what is your favorite song to perform in front of your fans? My favorite song to perform? Um, that's a good question. I think my favorite song... I don't know, because uh, our, our act, we, we're on Digitour or whatever, and our act, we started out with Passion for the Fashion, and like that song really like gets us really going like in the mood and stuff so i like that the way like the crowd reacts to passion of the fashion but i think my favorite song to perform is definitely nothing to a king because yeah it's just yeah the, the crowd the crowd likes it and we really get into it so wonderful now what other upcoming projects are you working on that your fans can look forward to um yeah me and sam you you guys know sam sam wilkinson he's my He's my uh, partner in crime, but um, yeah, uh, as far as projects coming, we have a new song coming with Ty Alexander, actually. He was, he, I know he's in the building somewhere over here. What's up? Um, yeah, but Ty Alexander, it's Signs, is coming out on iTunes probably in the next, we're trying to get out in like a week and a half. We're actually going to record it uh, this Monday, so tomorrow, or two days. And then we're trying to get this EP out. We have a, we have some good songs lined up, actually. We have a... Uh, Another song called Closer. It's more like a kind of lo lovey-dovey type song. So we got a lot of different projects coming out on iTunes, an EP coming. And I, I always drop a lot of music on SoundCloud just like for the fans and stuff for free just so people can listen to some other, other kind of hip-hop. But, yeah, that's basically that. Fantastic. You have so much going on right now, so all your fans should just stay tuned for that. And lastly, speaking of your fans, if you could bring a message out to all of them watching, what message would that be? Um, well, first, before the message, I'd just like to say thank you to all of the fans because you're literally, like, the reason I'm here right now. So it's, like, just amazing to have all you guys on my side and just to have fans to listen to my music. But um, if I could say one thing to the fans, stay real to yourself. Don't ever change whatever you do. Uh, just be yourself. So, yeah, that, that's how I'd answer that question. Oh, that's such an incredible message. And if you could just bring out all your social media so your fans can stay connected with you. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you can follow me at Twitter at Nate Maloli. That's N-A-T-E-M-A-L-O-L-E-Y. And then on Instagram, it's Skate Maloli. So it's S-K-A-T-E and then Maloli, M-A-L-O-L-E-Y. 
Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't really, I, I'm not much of a Viner, so <laughs> you can follow me on Vine at Skate Maloli too, so. Excellent. Well, thank you so, so very much thank for you. speaking with me. I had such a wonderful time, and congrats on all the success again. I wish you continued success with your career. You. So, bye guys. That's VIP Access exclusive Later. with the awesome Nate. Bye guys. <laughs>